have stopped skipping. And yes, Chris is perfect. Although, we could pick another. A natural and be reliable actor who can play a hero. That's my boy. Best in macho role? <laughs> That's not surprising. Ooh, a manly man. <laughs> Fudge isn't very interesting? What's so mean? Oh, apparently Chris can't be it, because she would be right between Hugo and Godot. Jefferson? No. That's extremely true. Tuda. <laughs> you say gal? Okay, we'll do gal. Oh my god, Coral. <laughs> yeah, I concur. I can't wait to make him play Sierra. <laughs> it's gonna be too good. Alright, here we go. Romeo and Juliet. Romeo, Romeo, why are you Romeo? Deny your father and refuse your name, and I shall deny my father and refuse my name as well. I take you at thy word. Call me but love, and I'll be new baptized. Henceforth, I never will be Romeo. Are you indeed Romeo? Why have you come here? The orchard wall seems so high and hard to climb, and isn't this place death considering who you are? With love's light wings did I come over these walls. If one of my relatives were to find you, I fear you might be killed, dearest Romeo. Alack, there lies more peril in thine eyes than twenty of their swords. Give me your sweet look, and I am proof against their enmity. The voice came from somewhere around here. Thief, show yourself. I would rather that the honorable gentleman refrain from entering my garden. Your entrance caused all the birds to fly away. Ah, oh, Lady Juliet, we heard the sound of people talking here. That was just me talking to the birds. I apologize for causing a false alarm. I'm sorry. Please forgive my rudeness. Romeo, I fear that if you stay here any longer, your life may be in jeopardy. I beg you to now return, for I fear for your safety. <clears throat> Juliet, though we have only just exchanged words, must we part already? Madam! Well then, I wish you a good, a good night a hundred, nay a thousand times over. Yet I feel a hundred, nay, a thousand times unhappy to see you go. If you love me, please let me see you once more. Is she writing a Roomba? <laughs> My dearest Romeo, parting is such sweet sorrow. Ah, Juliet, you are the one for me! Praise the sun! Romeo, hist! Tis soon the morning. How I would that the sun would never rise, that we could talk here forevermore. Madam, come quickly. Goodbye and rest well, dear Romeo. So 
sleep dwell upon your eyes, peace on your breast. In that peace and sleep I would share. If I'll the if only I could be by your side. That was pretty fucking good. Yuri's a phenomenal Romeo. Gao should have been guard number one, though. Alright. <laughs> Here's where things get weird. So, we have the Sweden in one play, which is written by Milich Oppenheimer. <laughs> And it's about the early days of Emperor Barbarossa, before, you know, Wendy and all that bullshit. And then we have the Sweden in 2 play, which is about killing Necklord. So, yeah. What, what, which one do we want to do first? I'm thinking Sweden in 1 first, because the Sweden in 2 one is... Yeah. Nash's Sierra is basically the greatest thing that ever happened. <laughs> Who else could play Millich other than Augustine? Nobody. He's the only person gay enough to pull it off. Oh, actually, can Gordon act? Because he'd be good too. Emily is playing Victor, by the way. I just decided. Never mind treasure hunting. You can be a big star someday. Yeah, Millish would be perfect for someone that likes macho rules. I don't know who should play... <laughs> like, Augustine to me is perfect, but he's gonna be terrible. What? Emily can't be Victor? Oh, yeah, she can. Okay. That's funny. Chris can play Fleck. That kind of makes sense. He's the only actor that uses his real name. Kenji <laughs> works for me. Even on the list, I don't see him. Halla can be Barbara. <laughs> oh, hey, Twinkin can be someone. Oh, hey, he's getting dignified rolls. There we go. Oh my God, the Golden Hydra, Fubar, duh. That's not even a question. Okay, Phoebe, who should be Millich? This is very important.
kind of want to make friends through it just because I don't really like friends. <laughs> Is that mean? Sergeant Joe? Okay. He's gonna be really sarcastic. Okay. Second to last get, guys. Which means I can almost do my food. It's getting cold. Embrace of the Empire. The shadows among the light. Amongst the light, sorry. Her? I didn't pass her. What? What just happened? I didn't pass Lucia. What just happened? I'm so confused. Anyway, okay. We'll go with it. 200 glorious years of prosperity end for the Scarlet Moon Empire. So too goes the Golden Emperor, Barbarossa. This is the entirely wrong cast. What the fuck? Oh, the son of Tio arrives. Your name is McDole McDole. <laughs> Barbarossa, the Toran army is with me. We've surrounded Gregminster. I blow you the kiss of death. That could be right, yeah. It is as McDole says. Barbarossa, stand down! Our country is the loser! My Millage, you've done well to make it this far, but you might say I've been waiting for you and your troop. Behold, the gardens resplendent with bloom. Is it not beautiful? Right, Claudia herself frolicked about, in the, gar about the garden in delight. You see, this garden is all that remains of my empire. I shall protect it by my own hand. With power from the Dragon King Sword. I'll redo it with the right people, sorry. I'm so hyper though. Oh my god, that's perfect! <laughs> Look at that, transform like magic. Oh no, now what? Wah! <laughs> this, this is in the script? Dole, you're nervous! Barbarossa, eat my metal! Millich would never say that. <laughs> With one blow? Really? Incredible! Sir Millich Oppenheimer, the Knight of Knights! Yeah, this was written true to life. The Scarlet Moon Empire is dust in the wind. All of you can take care of the rest. Millich, how can you just leave me here? McDull, I'm way in over my head. No idea what's going on. Consider me home already. That went really well. Mua was a perfect golden dragon. Thingy. <laughs> Sorry I fucked it up. I didn't pick a McDowell, yeah. I fucked it up. Who did I put a split before? Yeah, Percival. And Victor was Emily, because yes. That was Barbarossa. Golden Hydra was Fubar. Who the fuck was Barbarossa? Oh, wasn't it... Mua. That was my cast. Because he likes to be in dignified roles. I thought 
thought I did. Whatever. Lily can be McDole. McDole's boring anyway. He's basically faceless. Alright, here we go with the people I actually wanted. 200 glorious years of prosperity end for the Scarlet Moon Empire. So too falls Barbarossa, he who once was known as the Golden Emperor. Ah, the son of Tio arrives. Your name is... McDole McDole. Barbarossa, the Torn army is with me. We've surrounded Grandmaster. I blow you the kiss of death. Right. <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah! My older brother is right! Barbarossa, there is no need for that sword. Our beloved empire is gone. It is regrettable, but so goes many turning points in history. We are defeated. So, Milich, you survived well. But so have I, as I've waited for you all. It's pretty good, this. Behold the gardens rippling with bloom. Such a Ah, yes. Claudia also liked the gardens. Milich, this garden is all that remains of my empire, but I shall protect it by my own hand. Power of the Dragon King Sword. The bugger is transforming! <laughs> oh no! Do not be afraid. Barbarossa, by my own hand shall come your end. Too far. Boy, down with one blow! Amazing! Sir Millich, you might even be stronger than me! Scarlet Moon Empire lies in ruins. You can all do as you like now. Millich, how can you just leave me here? McDull, from here on, it is up to you. You can look forward to making a new future. And I can look forward to new fathers! <laughs> That's me. Well, that was really good. Alright. <laughs> I'm really surprised Mua was really good. Yeah, Landis' necklord is actually pretty fucking perfect. Oh, and look, it put Nash's flick. That's funny. Oh, Apple can totally be the narrator. <laughs> I kind of like Percival as flick. <laughs> I'm putting Percival as flick. It was too good. And Emily can be Victor again, because she was hilarious. <laughs> Emily is like the best vicar. She's perfect. <laughs> Who should play Ryu? Someone someone cast Ryu for me. It can be like a ton of people. <laughs> Shabon? <laughs> I don't think she's an option. I don't see her. No. Oh, there she is at the top. Yeah, okay, she can be Ryu. Fine by me. Alright, guys. Here we go. <laughs> I can't wait for Nash. Landis' neck lord is the best thing I've ever seen. It's perfect. Sorry, Noah suggested Shabon, so I picked her. This is gonna be so much fun.
Necklord. It's a crucial battle. I'm losing my voice. This is why I don't read all the dialogue, people. <laughs> the one who would finally track down the demon Necrolord. The wow. Wow! The one who would finally track down the demon Necklord, who had enslaved the people of Tinto under a cloud of terror, was the commander of an army of a hundred thousand, which went on to bring about the fall of the Highland Kingdom, the hero of heroes. Well known among the Odessa army, cool and collected, the charismatic son of the hero Genkaku from the city-state of Jostin. Ryu. <laughs> He's so tiny. Yeah. Glad you made it all the way here, Ryu, from the Odessa army. I've cornered Necklord! Next to appear was the one known as both the Bear Killer and the Wanderer, Ryu's right-hand man, Victor. And next, Victor's partner, whose lightning speed prowess with the blade earned him the well-deserved nickname, Blue Bolt Flick. It's Blue Lightning Flick. Who wrote this? You're fired. Necklord, you are finished! Time to give it up. You can't escape. Hear me, my moon rune! <laughs> Wait for Nash, I'm so excited. But in the hand of the despicable Necklord shone one of the 27 true runes, the moon rune! Beware, brave soldiers, but help from heaven was on its way. The founder and elder of the Blue Moon Village, who had both the smile of an angel and the eyes of a demon, the young lass, Sierra. It's been a while, ain't it, Lord? It's me, old hag Sierra. I'm arrogant. Never keep promises and suck people's blood at any chance. Elder Sierra. I could attack using electricity. No. Hear me, my moon rune. Lay this evil magic to rest. Now you shall sleep. <laughs> There's nothing left now to protect this one. I leave the rest to you, Ryu. Let's see. Necklord, since it was you who did those things, I guess I'll forgive you. Not! Stay where you are. <laughs> she was born for this role. You did it, Ryu! Nice going. Fucking <laughs> Landis, man. Why, you don't show your face around here anymore. Let's go, zombies! There are so many people out there. We must retake the town. And so Necklord, the dreadful demon who had attacked the town of Tinto, was defeated by the mighty Ryu, and peace returned to Tinto. Thanks for listening to Necklord, the crucial battle, from Tinto historian Marlowe's The Mighty Ryu. Ah, takes me back. She was literally the perfect narrator. That was fantastic. You were all really good. That play is phenomenal. <sighs> now I actually have to, like, play the game. I don't wanna. That really hurt my voice, <laughs> doing that Sierra voice for Nash. <laughs> oh, my throat hurts. <laughs> I guess I can at least set up my troops. Shavon was fantastic. And Nash, is, Nash and Sierra have a really, really funny history together. It's pretty fantastic. Oh my god, my throat hurts so bad. Mm. <coughs> Ow. Alright. 
I'm just gonna set up my team and then stop. Oh. That was a really good cast. Oh man, you know who would have also made a good Neck Lord? Guillaume, because he's so fucking creepy. And Neck Lord's basically a pedophile. God, my throat is killing me. <laughs> Ugh.
Oh my god, my throat. Looks good to me. Alright, I'm gonna save it and stop. I might, um, I might do some grinding and stuff. Save and I just hit all right, let's go. I have no fucking idea. I think before I did all the plays. Should I just fucking do it at 1 30 in the morning? Just get it over with? I mean, my groups are set. God damn it. What is wrong with me? And I had it on, I want to change, and then the controller was like, fuck you, no you don't! If I get too mad, I'll just stop. <laughs> Officially, bro. Oh, I didn't feel safe. Okay. Are you walking around here, creepy face? Okay, so as soon as I go to the front of the house, that's when the fight starts. Okay, and I'm done for tonight. Because I'm pooped. Yeah, I just can't go to the courtyard. As long as I avoid the courtyard, I'm fine. Alright guys, thank you everyone for watching the ridiculously stupid bath and dog unite play episode. Uh, tomorrow will be the last strategy battle and then the end of the game. And the bonus chapter. So, But yeah, I'll be uh, streaming at 9 o'clock again tomorrow. So hopefully we'll get through everything without too much of a headache. So yeah. Alright, thanks everybody for watching. <laughs>